Google just announced that you'll be able to change your at gmail.com address. So what does that mean and how do I do it? Well, you can soon change your default email, but let me give you some details on how this is going to work. This means that, for example, you could change your email from waldo at gmail.com and you can create a new address such as emerson at gmail.com. However, where is the Waldo address? Can you still receive email from Waldo? Can you still send email from Waldo? Well, let's take a look. Waldo is still there. What you did was you created what's called an alias email address. So let me explain that. That means you can receive email to your old address, Waldo, and your new address, Emerson. But when you go to respond to an email, it's only going to respond from whatever is considered your main or your primary address. In this case, you can receive email as both Waldo at gmail.com and Emerson, but you can only send email as Emerson. Only if you change Emerson to be your primary email address. And if you want, you can create as many different email addresses as you'd like. So if you have a business, you may want to create salesemerson at gmail.com, or you could create hremerson at gmail.com, whatever it is that you would like that's not already been taken by another gmail.com user. But you can only send from the one address, and you can make that change up to three times a year. So when is it going to happen? Well, it's going to be tested in India right now, but it's going to be available in 2026 sometime, we don't know when, all over the world. And as I mentioned, you can change that up to three times a year. So how do you do this? How do you check to see if this is available for you? And if it is available, how do you make that change? Here's what you do. Go into your personal info, email, and click on your Google account email. You may see that option to go ahead and add in that new primary address and keep your old email address as your alias. If you don't see that option, then that means it's not quite ready yet. And you'll have to wait a little bit longer. So that is what's happening with your new email address at gmail.com, how it works, when it's going to change, hopefully soon for you, and what those alias email addresses mean. If you have any other questions, feel free to place them in the comments section.